friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my The noon Miss Rarity! Sassiness ponyfied. Easy to see why she's a fan favorite. How may I help you, Miss Shores? Oh, please, call me Sapphire. So, Sapphire Shores, who is a pony pop singer, has come to Rarity for an outfit for her upcoming concert. So, I need to look sensational! Ow! That looks like it was designed for Pony Elvis. So Sapphire loves it, but she needs four more. And Rarity is out of jewels. <laughs> yes, I do have that effect on ponies. But were you totally flipping out or what? Ladies do not flip out, Spike. You are so full of it. So anyway, Rarity goes out to look for more jewels. I think this is the first episode to reveal that technically that's her special talent. I think it might also be the first time we find out that Spike likes to eat jewels. I will miss you, my sweets. That is an eating disorder waiting to happen. Okay, that's just adorable. And that too. And he finally gets a jewel for his trouble. From me to you. For me. From Rarity. Aww. But it turns out that they're being watched by a new type of monster called Diamond Dogs, who decide to capture Rarity so they can use her gem-finding abilities to get more for themselves. Spike puts up a good fight, but in the end, they get her. A short time later, Spike gets the rest of the main six to come to Rarity's rescue, only to find that the hole that the dogs pulled her into is a lot harder to find now. That's actually pretty clever. They try to dig, but that doesn't work either. Whack a dog. Poor Rarity must be terrified. Oh. They imagine what horrors Rarity must be going through. I'll save you, my sweet. Spike still has the gem Rarity gave him and is about to sacrifice it to save her. My damsel in distress. Cue Spike imagining himself as a hero. Show yourselves, you dogs. You curs! I love that they gave him a lantern jaw of justice. That's a nice touch. Well, at least he remembered that he's a dragon. Oh, Spike. You are my hero. Thank God that ended when it did. Oh, there, lover boy. Come to think of it, I'd love to see how that played out from their perspective. So Spike gets pulled in and the rest of them get pulled along while trying to save him. Notice Pinkie Pie having a blast even during the falling part. So now they're underground, but it's basically a maze and they don't know where to go. No! How many times is he gonna do that? Once for every commercial break, I guess. So they figure out that whatever tunnel that has the most gems is most likely where they took her. And Twilight is able to do Rarity's gem finding spell. Meanwhile... You're a precious little pony! Forever! Slavery is a thing in this universe, apparently. Good to know. Find them all! Is that all? Still, though, Rarity isn't doing half as bad as everyone assumes. We said dig! Forgive me. I had a pony petty, and I am not about to chip a hoof because you dislike my style of digging. She won't dig, she pull. Yikes. Rarity is basically more annoyed than anything. Stop calling me pony. I am a lady, and I wish to be addressed as such. You're whining! It hurts! Oh, he's gonna regret saying that. Do you want to hear whining? This is whining! We'll do anything, Pony! I will do anything, Miss Rarity. <laughs> anything? Best Pony. There, I said it. <laughs> Wait! Why are we doing this? I would love to know how long that went on before they thought to question it. What are we, mice or dogs? My dogs? Uh, dogs? Make the noises all you want, but move while you make them! Did he really just slap her on the ass? This is still a kid's show, right? Mules are ugly. Are you saying that I do am ugly? Wow, they just can't win. An old, ugly mule, and it's true! Yeah! You never liked me! 
Meanwhile, the rest of the main six is getting close. I love how their muzzles are so tiny that you can almost see the rope all the way around. If you can take this bull by the horns, you better be ready for a ride. Oh, I wonder how often that line has been taken out of context in fan fiction. With the flunkies out of the way, Spike has decided that he's going to live out his fantasy of rescuing Rarity. Please, Twilight. Just give me this. Ugh, <sighs> fine. You're such a good sport, Twilight. Of course, once they get there, they find out that the Diamond Dogs cannot get rid of Rarity fast enough. Hello, girls. You arrived just in time to assist me. They're even letting her take all of the gems. Just because some pony is ladylike doesn't make her weak. And so ends a dog and pony show. This is one of those episodes that, for whatever reason, I haven't seen that many times, so I thought I remembered it as being kind of meh. Seeing it again, though, I have to say it's a good one, if not the best. I'm not all that impressed with the Diamond Dogs, which I think might be why. After all the other cool monsters we've seen in this show, they aren't that interesting. Although it's kind of neat that, while they're mostly kind of stupid, they have their own brand of cleverness and do come across as a legitimate threat at times. There are two things that stand out as great in this episode to me. One is Spike's hero fantasy. I do find Spike's childish crush on Rarity is adorable, and this is a fun little look into his subconscious. The other is just Rarity. It's pretty cool how everyone assumes that she's going through a terrible time because she's so weak and helpless, and then we find out that she's mainly just really annoyed. And her intentionally annoying act that she puts on is great. Yes, Rarity can legitimately be overly dramatic at times, but she's also self-aware enough to realize that cranking it up to 11 can be really annoying, so she uses that to her advantage. And that's pretty much the moral of the story, that just because someone may seem weak and helpless doesn't mean they are. I could kind of do without the word ladylike being used in an unironic way, but eh. We're still on season one, I'll just chalk it up to early installment weirdness. Next up is another Rarity episode, Green Isn't Your Color. See you then. Miss Rarity! You know my name. 